What's up, my Omi homies and fellow NFT collectors? Today we're going to talk about a tweet that the Omi homie Javier Torres put out yesterday on Twitter about an account that seems to always mint low serial numbers and special serial numbers. We're going to take a look at that wallet, see what's going on with it, talk about some possible explanations, and we'll also look at David Yu's wallet on Scan today. So first off, we're going to talk about that BB user that Javier pointed out that seems to always mint these low or special serial numbers. We'll take a look at that wallet and see if that's actually true. And there's a spreadsheet on Google Sheets that Javier set up. I'll link that in the description. You can just click on that address from there to look at the Scan data yourself. So let's start looking at this user's wallet on Scan and see what kind of stuff they're minting. The stuff here that are transfers to, those are things that this user has sold on the market. And the ones that say mint, those are the ones that they actually minted on the drop. So on this Tarzan of the Apes, seven days ago, we'll see that they minted a serial number 768. That's a pretty good serial number, a low three digit. And next we got two secret rares. So they were able to mint two secret rares on that drop. And this was also a three digit secret rare 771 Tarzan of the Apes. And then we got another one here, very low three digit serial number 434 also minted on that drop. They minted a third secret rare on that drop. And it was also a three digit 432 Tarzan of the Apes. And it looks like they got a rare and the rare was number 314. So they are able to mint five comics on the Tarzan of the Apes drop. Three of them were secret rares and all of them were three digit comics. Let's see what they minted on the Amazing Spider-Man drop. Serial number 241. Next up we're going to look at this user's Avengers Towers drop. And you can see as soon as they mint them, they sell them. And they're getting these low serial numbers, 113. We know that the Avengers Tower did not sell out right away. So possibly they, if they have some type of exploit, they were waiting for the perfect time in the market to buy these. So they get these special serial numbers like this number 1111. And then you can see as soon as they buy them, they sell them on the market. This one was serial number 108. One of the most interesting replies to Javier's tweet was from OG user Hello K, who is also a software engineer and says that my guess is VV is using some out of the box random function and that this guy is tracking IMX in the sequence of numbers and then feeds it into a decrypting algorithm to predict which is next. He then waits for his perfect position to pop up in mint order and then hits the number he predicted. People seem to think that makes sense, and I guess it does in theory, but I mean, he would have to be really super accurate to be able to do it every single time. And then there's something that I noticed in the Immuta scan data that Javier didn't pick up on. If we scroll down a little bit further in this user's Immuta scan wallet to see what they've been minting, you'll see when we get right here that they were sent a Jim Lee Batman from the VV account. This is the VV wallet. We verified this several times. I've had a few videos about it in the past. This is where they mint all the NFTs and send them out to users. And this Lazarte user was sent an NFT just recently, a Jim Lee Batman, and the serial number for that one was one of those special serial numbers that they seem to always mint, number 2345. We can see where the very next day that user Lazarte sold that 2345 on the market. So if this user has developed some sort of program and algorithm that allows them to mint the perfect serial numbers every time, I'm not sure why Vivi is sending them NFTs, especially ones that also have special serial numbers. I'll link this wallet in the description of the video, of course. It doesn't go very far back, only five months and then it ends, but you can clearly go through here and look at all the things that they were minting and selling on the market. They're always getting those good serial numbers every time. Another wallet on Scan that people have been asking me to share, and I will link in the description below, is Mr. David Yu's wallet. And if you wanted to go through to see what kind of stuff David Yu is collecting, you'll see that he has a whole lot of particular NFTs that he likes. I don't want to go through and to tell you exactly what they are so that they don't pump in value. The Darth Vader's TIE Fighter is just one of several that he has a lot of. But you can also see where he recently purchased that one of one dragon girl painting. And because of that, we can actually go into the VV web app and find out what David Yu's username is. So if we check to see who won the dragon girl painting, the username is Booster Gold. So I believe that David Yu's username on VV is Booster Gold. And there's several things in this wallet that proves or shows that it's David Yu's account, including a top dog comic. But I'm going to let people research that for themselves so that we're not over here trying to pump anything on the market. 
right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this Lazarte account down in the comments below. I'm not sure what to think about it. Is Hello K right? And why would BB be sending them collectibles as well? See y'all on tomorrow's Drop Day live stream. Later.